And if you ever see the film, The Playboy of the Western World by John Millington Singh, mm -hmm. you'll see the young fella lynch his father with the lie. Oh, they've killed him surely. They've killed him surely. The only playboy of the Western world. <laughs> Drops his son. And of course, I had an experience with the lie a few years ago. Uh, first, when I still opened up first, it the first year. Uh, I had a tour from Northern Ireland, uh, across the northern parts of the country anyway, country anyway, and uh, when they were coming into the place, it was about 50 of the minute, this woman tapped me on the shoulder and she says, Tom, she said, just to tell you, she said, we're all Church of Ireland. And I said, fine, I said, not a problem in the world. And I kind of started thinking about looking up to what happened to tea and that, and it gave me time to think about this. I said, why did she mention that to me? Because it would never be my intention to have said something that would hurt their feelings of anybody, that it's only information that I've gathered up and if it doesn't suit, we'll lay it aside and that would be the theory that I would have in the whole story. But anyway, I started to think about this and I said, well, there's nothing that I'm saying in the house that I retract from. I said, it's the reality of life and that's the way that I want it and I won't retract, there's nothing that's bothering me there. When I came anyway and I was talking about the famine pot and it was a sensitive issue, but then I, there was nothing there that bothered me. But when I thought about it, I said, Christ, I said, the lie. So I decided I just tell them exactly what I'm after telling you. Create no hustle or boss. I get away with that and that off. But anyway, just as I was walking away, this woman tapped. She says, Tom, she says, would you please tell them, she says, what you know really about the law? And I said, well, I said, I'm, I've told you everything. Know. No, no, she said, they will really enjoy it, she said. They will really enjoy it, she said. She said, tell them the story behind it. Well, I said, Mama, I said, I don't know, I said, I said. I think I've told you everything. No, no, she said, I was here two years ago, you told a different story. <laughs> and I was, honestly, the hair stood in the back of my head. Because they were all focused on you, and it's unbelievable, I've never had an experience like mm. it. They were all focused on me, wondering what was the conspiracy about it. Mm. And I said, well, I said, I'll tell you, I said, so I opened said to them, I said, in case you think that, there's, that I'm hiding something, I'm saying something, I said, when you were coming into the building, I said, coming into the place, I said, a woman there I said, tapped me on the shoulder and said, you're all Church of Ireland. And I said, I would never want, I said, to say anything. I said, I would hurt the feelings of anybody. I said, I said, take it or leave it. And I said, what the woman is wanting me to tell you is about, when Queen Elizabeth plants the Protestant community to Ireland, she sent with them the loy, but she sent with them all left-handed loys. Hence the expression, left footer. <laughs> and as soon as I said that, the chair took happen. Right? And next thing, three of the oldest men in it, it was absolutely amazing because it was one of the finest lessons in humility that I was ever to get mm. because they came up and I thought I was going to get a bollock and do mm. quite right with you. But they took me and said, that's the story you were told, that's the story you continue to tell. Mm -hmm. And they said, very, very few people would know the background in relation to that mm -hmm. and it has absolutely nothing to do with religion. Mm. Yeah. And I couldn't believe what this man was saying, yeah. what these mm. three people were saying. They said, no one would, no, it has absolutely nothing to do with religion. They said, the, the people, were, the Protestants were granted large parcels of land in Ireland in, their, in, their, in support of, this, of the help, uh, the, their contribution to the English army. They got large parcels of land. And when they were being planted over, they were sent with them, the law. And the drill in the army was what? Left, right, left. Right. And all drills and farm tools were all made to fit a left-hand drill. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing from these three men. Mm -hmm. Because in, 19, in 1972 or 73, I had recorded an old family up the road here in notes in the diary. And this old family had told me that when the English came over to pick up intelligence, they went around on bikes, hoping that they would engage the people in conversation. And they were passing along the road and they see a man below on the field, mowing with his side or with his lawyer, or whatever he was at. And they shout, is this the way to such a place? And what does Paddy do? He walks the full length of the field, comes up to the headland, talking to this man with a bicycle on the road, takes off his hat, goes down on one knee. Mm. And this man with the bike, thinking that he had a fool at his mercy, he was now going to get extracted over the out of him. But you didn't know that the man on his knee was synchronising him. He was synchronising himself. He was waiting for him to walk away, because when he walked away, he went forward with his left foot first. And he got off his knee and he sent the message down to the village to the people, be wary of this man, he is military background. <laughs> <laughs> the people closed down, never said anything about it. 
And I had it wrote in the diary, and I went up and I took the diary out and that and I showed it. I said, There you are, you couldn't believe it. I said, What you're after saying to me? And they said, That is it. The drill in the army was left, right, left, right. And it was absolutely amazing. Because then when I started mentioning this from time to time, it was people that said to me, No, it's the Catholics. It's the Catholics that are referred to as left footers. No, I said, it's the Protestants. But I said, no, it is the Catholics. And I said, why do you say that? If you go east of Manchester, there's a region there that it is the Catholics. And when I researched it, yes, it was Catholics in the English army as well. And they followed their own clans. And there is an area east of Manchester that it is the Catholics that are referred to. And even Esther Evans yeah. refers to it in his book of the left footers being Catholics. Mm -hmm.